Hey, this is Steven Platinum, your friend in wrestling with Platinum versus SmackDown. August 27, 2021, the last weekly show I will have to cover. Exciting. Go right out to the ring. Here comes Becky Lynch to a pop. Um, they talk about her quick SummerSlam win over Bianca Belair. The fans chant Becky. Um, she announces the man has come around to Little Rock. Feels good to be back, but not just back, back on top. She missed the fans, etc. Um, she said it was one of the hardest things she's ever had to do, and she had to give up the Raw Women's title last year. Um, she's going to work hard, etc., etc., etc. Um, she brings up SummerSlam, and the fans boo. Uh, she would like to say that she's sorry for absolutely nothing. She talks about being in WWE long enough to know timing is everything. Um, here comes Belair. Belair says she's not here to make excuses, but she's not cool with what happened. Um, how about they tear it down tonight for the title? But here comes Alina Vega. Um, Vega mocks Belair. Um, Vega thinks Belair should fall back and let Vega have the title shot. And now here comes Carmella. Ish. Um, Belair says, forget about the others. Let's give the fans what they want. The man versus EST. Becky says, nope, and exits the ring. Um, the other four superstars, because Liv Morgan joins them, and the bra brawl breaks out. Liv is standing tall at the end of it. So we get a fatal four-way elimination match. Bianca Belair, Carmella, Liv Morgan, and Zelina Vega. Um, the match goes on and on. Um, Belair scoops Liv up, drops her with the KOD, and gets the pin. It's confirmed she has earned a future title shot at Becky Lynch. Okay. Kayla Braxton stops Paul Heyman. Where does he stand now that Brock Lesnar is back? And um, Heyman says, I got to go take care of Roman. He tries to enter Rain's locker room, but the uh, door is locked. And we go to commercial. We see stills from SummerSlam. They show stills from SummerSlam multiple times through the evening. And they're going to get everything they can out of Cardi B's up because they couldn't have her there. So, you know, whatever they paid her to use the song, boy, they're going to get their money's worth, eh? Cole hypes tonight's family celebration with Roman Reigns and the Usos. Uh, the Usos ask why Heyman sent them back to the locker room before Reigns' match with John Cena. Heyman says Rain sent them back, not him. They're not buying it, and they question Heyman a bit more before walking back into the suite without him. Chad Gable against Cesaro. Um, basically, the, it ends with Chad Gable is going to get caught in the swing, but Otis drops him for a disqualification. After the match, um, the Alpha Academy double teams Cesaro and destroys him. Big flying splash, and he's staring. Yay, Cesaro involved with <sighs> Otis. Kayla is backstage waiting for Roman Reigns. And Bentley pulls up and it's Baron Corbin. He's now Happy Corbin. So if you're wondering why Happy Corbin was trademarked a couple of weeks ago, this is why. Because he won a lot of money at the casinos. Good message, by the way, to the general public. Just gamble your problems away. And uh, he's now rich. More SummerSlam stills. Uh, Baron Corbin comes to the ring. He's rich. He's happy. Um, he calls out Big E. He offers him twenty thousand, then fifty thousand, then a hundred thousand for the Money in the Bank briefcase. Um, the music hits, and Corbin exits to the back. Once he's threatened with violence, he did not choose violence. We get a video package of Edge beating Seth Rollins. Edge is backstage. Is now his fans boo, which is weird. Um, so Edge says he's now moving on he's going to go after the uh, title but Rollins is backstage he has one thing to say to Edge congratulations and then uh, 
congratulates him afterwards as well. Weird. Uh, Rick Boogs and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, who's the IC champ against Robert Roode and Dolph Ziggler. Um, if your guess was that Robert Roode and Ziggler are going to win so they can set up being contenders for the Intercontinental title, you're wrong. Boogs dodges the famous urn and delivers the pump handle power slam for the pin to win. Boogs is hyped up, grabs a guitar, Nakamura's music hits. Champ joins Boogs to celebrate and fans cheer. Hmm. Naomi's backstage with Sonya Deville, who's on her phone. Good television, guys. Um, Naomi wants a match. Um, she says she'll get with, Sonya Deville says she'll get with Naomi next week. Great segment, guys. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Dominic Mysterio. Basically, Rey says, Dominic, I gotta, I gotta set you out on your own. It's time to make your way, young man. Dominic wrestles Sami Zayn. And long and short of it is Sami Zayn beats him. And Sami stands tall and practically teabags him afterwards. Hmm. Roman Reigns, Usos, and Heyman are backstage. Um... Rain says Heyman is family and he loves Heyman. So then Heyman gets to walk off with the group. Yay! We go to the ring for tonight's family celebration as Reigns, the Usos, and Heyman come out. And Heyman's is kissing Reigns and kissing that butt like you're supposed to and all that stuff. Finn Balor comes out, says, I want a shot. Um, starts swinging on, all th on the Usos and Roman Reigns. Um... The Street Profits come to the ring. Long story short, Finn Balor ends up hitting one of the Usos with his coup de grace as Roman Reign ditches them. Yeah, eh, SmackDown. Not that great, but, you know, they've got a bit of a... They're playing with house money a little bit because it's traditionally been the better show. But nothing that compelling about this. I gotta be honest with you. 